Welcome to our next tutorial in indices. In this tutorial we will go through fractional powers, basically powers which are fractions. So let's go through our first one. Now suppose we have x to the power of a half. So the power in this case is a fraction. Well this is simply the square root of x. So let's go through our Example, if we have 64 to the power of a half, that is simply the square root of 64. The answer is 8. So 64 to the power of a half equals 8. Now suppose we have y to the power of a third. Well, this simply becomes the cube root. So we write down a y, the cube root. Which number multiplied by itself three times gives the answer? So again, going through our example, let's suppose we have the number 125 to the power of a third. 125 to the power of a third. Well, let's write this down. 1, 2, 5, and the cube root. So what number multiplied by itself three times gives 125? The answer is 5. And you can double check. 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125. And lastly, we have z to the power of a quarter. Z to the power of a quarter. So let's write this down. And what this means is which number multiplied by itself four times gives the answer. So let's look at our example. Suppose we have 81 to the power of one quarter. Let's write this down. We have 81 we write a small 4 here. So which number multiplied by itself 4 times equals 81? Well, the answer is 3. You don't need to work this out. You should already know this. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. And that is how we work out fractional powers. More than likely, this will come up in the exam, so it's important to get a real understanding of the rules. I'm just going to circle these to make sure this stays on the screen and you can then memorize these.